for me, the hallmark of a cultural renewal would be a restoration of beauty as a central uh, cultural goal. Um, all of our religions share this, this truth, goodness, and beauty. And um, I think one of the hallmarks that I see in the modern world is a lot of ugliness. Um, it's, it's become very ugly. And I think for a lot of people, I, you know, this is an Indian carpet. And um, the Indians would never do a carpet like we do carpets today. I mean, these ugly, horrible carpets that you find in, in hotels and things like that. It's, it's a, just a beautiful carpet. And beauty's not in the eye of the beholder. I mean, uh, th th there, there are actually aesthetic... Th there are ways of determining something's intrinsic beauty. It's not simply just what I see as beautiful. That there really is the human being who's in a healthy condition will actually see beauty wherever it is. And that's why we're struck by mountains. That's why we're struck by waterfalls. That's why we're struck by forests. People, a lot of people are in, in, in just nature deficit disorder. They, they just <laughs> not going out and, and just experiencing primeval nature, just being with God's creation. Because if you go to malls, I was just in, in, in Singapore and we're walking through and it, it was horrible. I get constricted in these places. And, and these poor people walking through these places with these bovine stairs and as if consumers and consumption is the purpose of life. You know, that, that there's, we have hearts. All of us have these incredible human hearts. And when that heart is open to beauty, to real beauty, then you will see a cultural renewal. But when that heart is, is, has been literally just life has been removed from that heart. We, people don't love anymore. I mean, real love, just loving another human being for, 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 for a lifetime is an amazing thing to grow old with a person. People don't have the patience anymore just to, to be with a person, to go through the trials and tribulations of marriage and things. Even children, so many people aren't having children anymore. They don't want the hassle of children. And, and so I think cultural renewal for me would be based in a, a renewal of the family, you know, the, a renewal of, 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 of just loving, just having a loving center in your being that you transmit that to other people. Uh, but I really think beauty is something, and language is part of it, just the beauty of language, poetry we've lost. Every civilization has honored poets. And, 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 Not ours. <laughs> and, and our civilization, you know, it's just amazing what passes for poetry. Now, and I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I, you know, I, I understand, you know, people, the Nobel Prize Committee's judgment. You know, I'm a Bob Dylan fan, so I'm going to say that was one. Um, I'll, I'll make an exception for that. I am a Bob Dylan fan. Um, and, you know, he had some interesting lines. Um, uh, with, with time rusted compass blades, Aladdin and his lamp sit with utopian hermit monks side saddle on the golden calf. And of all their promise of, of paradise, you will not hear a laugh all except inside the gates of Eden. It's a very beautiful... Pretty good. Pretty beautiful good. statement because uh, time-rusted compass blades, that's like religion. You know, they're compass, but they're also harmful. And they're time-rusted. They've been around for a long time and they're, they're not polished or honed anymore. And Aladdin in his lamp, Islam, sits with utopian, utopian hermit monks, Christianity, side saddle on the golden calf, Judaism. And of all their promises of paradise, you know, each one's claiming paradise is ours, you will not hear a laugh. People are taking these things very seriously, all except inside the gates of Eden. Mm -hmm.